you know, the one time when you were asked if you would consider throwing yeah. some frames and you straight away just said no. He said, I can't do it. I mean, I enjoy playing. I, snooker's give me a great life. I get to travel. It's not just the money. You're putting all that on the line. You know, what, you know, without snooker, I'd lose my friends, my family. You know, I look at the snooker people. And when I came back to the Masters for the first time to watch a tournament from when I took my year out, I realised how much I missed the, the journalists, the, the tournament directors, the referees. And I just thought, you know what, by doing that, you're jeopardising people that make your life much happier. That they, you know, uh, you know, I've travelled the world with these people for 20 years. So you're not just taking the money; you're you're, you're jeopardising relationships with people and the sport and, and the opportunity to get out there and, and 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 embrace great things which being a professional snooker player can give you. You referenced the Stephen Lee case. Obviously, he's appealing, but he's been banned, hasn't he, for 12 mm. years? What yeah. message do you think that? sends out you know to snooker and people may be tempted you know to get involved in that sort of thing don't do it simple as that i mean had a great great player great career and uh you know virtually you know, a 12 year ban it's 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 a long time to be out for, for from a sport and he'd be 50 when he comes back so it's a strong message